Hello, I'm gonna be filming a quick workout here in the studio. You just need a set of uh, light dumbbells for this. Okay, it'll be about 25 minutes, not too long. Just a quick one you can do at home during the holidays, once you get a break from family. <laughs> We're gonna start with a warm up here. Okay, those arms are gonna reach up overhead. We lean to the left, back through center to the right. Come back, we'll swan dive forward, little heel scoop here. Reaching those arms all the way up. Feeling that release in the hamstrings. Last one here. Widen that stance, alternating lateral lunges. Sink those hips down. Keep the chest up, we're alternating sides. It's so nice to have the camera in the studio today. Last two. And one, we'll slowly move back and forth. Of course, it's not the same as when it's heated right now, like it's all is, but still nice to be back in here regardless. Come back through center, those hands will come down. We walk to the left. Come back through center, walk the arms in behind. Come back out, over to the right. And back, we'll heel toe the feet in a little bit, sink the hips down into a low yoga squat. You drive the knees out with the elbows here. Right hand comes down, the left will reach up, don't let those knees collapse in. And let's switch. Hands come back through center, we slowly come up to a forward fold, the feet come back to the front. Let yourself hang here for a second, and slowly raise up to a full stand. A few shoulder rolls back, and forwards. Extend those arms out, pulse backwards, opening up through the chest. Four. Three, two, and one. Flip those palms down. Four, three, two, and one. Come to the back of the mat. Arms reach up again. We fold forward. We walk up to that high plank position. Two plank jacks at the bottom. We walk back up, keeping the legs as straight as possible. Arms reach up. Fold. Walk out. Two jacks at the bottom. Walk up. Walk out, keep that bum down as you pop the feet out, and back up. Those arms come up. One, two, and up. Last time here, we'll stay down at the bottom after those plank jacks. One, two, and let's go 10 shoulder taps, five each side. Try not to let those hips wiggle here. Keep the hips steady. Two more each side. One and one. Send the hips up and back, downward dog. Pedal out those heels. That right leg is going to float up and back. We drive that into nose, we hold here. And float back one more time. Need to nose, hold. Bring that leg through. The back knee is going to drop. Your arms will reach up overhead. You should feel a stretch right in front of that hip. Hands come back down, frame the foot. We come through our high plank. Let's go for 10 more plank jacks. Pop the feet out here, keep that bum down. Four, three, two, and one. Send the hips up and back. Pedal that side out. Try and bring those heels down to the mat. Then left leg float up and back. Drive that knee to nose, we hold. Float back one more time. Knee to nose and bring that leg through. Your back knee drops again. Your arms reach up. Hands come back down in front of the foot. Let's come through that high plank. We're slowly gonna walk the hands back towards the feet here. Pause in that forward fold. Let yourself hang here. Slowly come on up to a full stand. Right into those body weight squats. We sink the hips down. We squeeze those glutes at the top. Keeping the chest up here. Let's go three more. Two. And one, we're gonna add a little calf raise here. Come down, hop up on those toes. Gotta get those calves engaged, not going up for any parties or any fun shoes. Coming up on the toes here. Last one. 
and you know, widen the stance, sumo squats. Drive the knees out against the toes. Two more here. And we're gonna stay down at the bottom. Pop those heels. Right and left. Let's get a little bit lower. Ooh. Four, three, two, and one. Come on up. We're gonna go into a little bit of cardio to finish off this warm up. Nice and light on those toes. Pop around the spot. And let's go into some cross jacks. The hands come into your chest and open and close. Straightening those arms. This can always be a tap as well if you don't want to hop. Four, three, two, and one. We're going to go into some skaters from the side of the mat. We hop from side to side. Option to put that toe down or float that leg, working on the balance. Lateral balance here. Let's go two more. Last one. Come back into the center. Regular jumping jacks here. We're almost done this warm up. And we're going to add a toe touch here. We're going to come down and pop up. Last 10. Again, this can also be done tap into the side. Omitting that jump. Four, three, two, and one. All right, grab some water if you need. We'll get started right away with our first set, okay? We're gonna be going for 30 seconds a piece here. Three rounds, so a minute and a half of work. And we'll give you 15, 20 seconds of rest, okay? You just need a light set of dumbbells here. First moves that we're going to do, squat to punch. So we sink low into that squat, we do two punches at the top. Down, one, two. Again, this can be done without weights as well. This is more of a cardio move, okay? So really focus on two quick little punches at the top and you sink down into that squat again, okay? That's exercise number one. Number two, we're gonna go into a sumo squat next. We sumo, extend to one side, extend. So sumo with that shoulder extension. If you want to go both at the same time, you can do that as well. If you have a heavier set of weights at home, just alternate, okay? The last move that we will do, we're going to drop our weights, okay? Come on down, four mountain climbers. We come down, hand release push up. Little super human here, you come up, hands and legs are off the ground. We come back down, push yourself up. One, two, three, four, down. Superhuman, lift all four limbs. It's a bit, a little back bend here to engage those lower back muscles. We press up, okay? And right into it. We're gonna get started right away with our squat two punch. We'll get that heart rate up nice and quick. Three rounds, 30 seconds apiece. In three, two, let's go. Squat two punch at the top. Try and elevate that heart rate here with this low impact cardio. Two quick little pops at the top. Extending those arms at the top, we alternate one arm goes first. 10 seconds. Good job. Two, and one. Widen that stance into a sumo squat. We squat, extend. You're either alternating the arms, or you go both together. Squat, extend. Halfway there. Tuck those weights in by our chest as we squat down. The knees are tracking in line with the toes here. Last two. And one. Come on down, we drop those weights. Four mountain climbers. Hand release push up. Superhuman. Press yourself back up. One, two, three, four. Down. Raise those limbs. Push yourself back up. It's important that we're doing a push up here with this superhuman so we're not arching our back as we come up. We push our torso straight up. Coming up as flat as we can there with that back. We're not arching. Two, 
and rest. All right, grab some water if you need here, a little break, and we'll go right into it. Round two, four, three, two, back to our squat two punch. Round two, let's go. Woo. Two little pops at the top. Getting that heart rate up here. One, two, sink those hips low. Last three, two, and one, wide in the stance. Sumo, shoulder extension. Knees track in line with the toes here. Down, extend. Straighten those arms at the top. Last three, two, and one, drop those weights, come on down. Four mountain climbers. And release push up to that superhuman. Press yourself back up. Up, down, press back to that high plank. Let's go one more here. Finish off this last breath. Down. Back bend, up, and rest. Last round here with these three exercises, and then we'll mix it up. Going in five, four, three, two, let's go. Squat, two punches at the top. Keep that chest up as we squat down. Two quick little pops. Good job, drive those knees out. Five seconds. Three, two, and one, widen the stance, extend. Knees tracking in line with the toes. Keep the chest up. Ten seconds here, and we're back to our high plank. Last one, and come on down. Four round climbers, lower down, little back bend, and up. Lower, up, down, press yourself back up. Whew. Almost there. Last 10. Let's go one more back here, finish it off. Up and rest. All right. We're gonna go into our second set here. Same format, okay, 30 seconds, with three new exercises, okay? The first move that we're going to do here we're gonna go for a, a lateral lunge, okay? So my hands are gonna come up. Lateral lunge, keep the chest up as we sink low. We come up, knee to elbow, okay? Lateral lunge is like a standing crunch at the top here. We'll have an extra set at the end, so we're gonna do two rounds each side, okay? If that doesn't feel great for your legs, just go squat knee to elbow instead, okay? You know lateral lunges aren't everyone's favorite. Then from there, we're gonna grab our weights again, we're going to go into a curl. We press over our head. We come down, row, row. Come up, curl, press. Come down, row, row. If we don't have weights, it's gonna look like this. Arms come up overhead. We come down to high plank, two shoulder taps instead. Then we come up, arms up, okay? Last one that we will do, we come down to our bum, grab our weights, sit up, two punches at the top. Come back down, dig the heels into the ground, one, two, okay? Got another six minutes set here, we're gonna get started right away with our lateral lunges. I'm gonna start with my right leg going out. 
You can mirror me if you'd like. In three, two, arms come up. Let's go, we step out to the side, knee to elbow. Again, if this feels uncomfortable in the knee, please do that squat knee to elbow instead. Okay? We sink low. That chest is not falling forward, sinking into that heel. Knee comes up. We'll get that heart rate up with this next move. Last one. And let's grab our weight. Curl. Press. Come down. One, two. Up. Curl. Press. One, two. Woo. Good job. Ten seconds here. One, two. You're bringing those weights into your pockets. Curl. Press. Finish off this last rep. And flip over onto the back. Dig those heels into the ground. Sit up. Two punches at the top. 20 seconds here. Dig those heels. One, two. Back down. Whew. Less than 10. Last rep here. And rest. All right, we're going for round two. I'm gonna be on my right side of that, the left leg will be going with this next round. Okay? In three, two, let's go. That lateral lunge, knee to elbow. Drive that knee up. Keeping the chest up here. Seconds left. Last two lunges. One. And let's grab our weights. Curl, press, down, row, row, or those two shoulder taps if we don't have weights. Row, row, back up. Then you can always step back to that high plank instead if you don't want to hop. Let's go for one more here. Curl, press, down, one, two, and flip over. Sit up, two punches. Dig those heels into the ground. One, two. Halfway there. Breathing through this, you have 10 seconds left. Last one here, and rest. We have one more round here with these three, and then we'll mix it up. All right, last round. We're doubling up those lateral lunges, okay? I'm gonna start on the left side in two. Let's go, my right leg's going out, knee to elbow. I'll let you know when to switch sides here. Driving that knee up to standing crunch. One more here. And let's switch sides, right into it. Lateral lunge, knee to elbow. Last two. And one. Grab your weights, curl, press, down for those rows. Whew. Straighten those arms overhead. Curl, press, come down, one, two. We have 10 seconds here, then we're finishing off with that core. Whew. Two more here, let's go. Last one, finish it off. And we flip over, sit up, chin punch. Woo. Take those heels into the ground. 10 seconds. 
hands here. Almost there. Last breath. One, two, and rest. All right. So I know I want to keep this around 25 minutes. We're going to do one more set here, okay? I'm just gonna check my time. Our final set, I'll have three exercises. During the rest period, in between sets, I'm gonna encourage you to hold a plank, you don't have to, um, but just get a little bit more core engagement for the end of the workout, okay? First move that we're going to do, four high knees, one, two, three, four, we bring the feet together, we hop into a squat. So it's four high knees to a squat jack. If you don't wanna hop, instead, it's gonna be squat calf raise. Nice and quick, okay? That's your alternative there. That's exercise number one. Number two, we're gonna grab those weights again, okay? We're gonna go for an alternating reverse lunge with a fly here. So we lunge back, the weights come up, okay? I'll show you from the front. The weights come up as we lunge back, okay? Look at my arms, 90 degrees there. That's exercise number two. Then number three, I still wanna get into those weights a little bit. What we're going to do here, we're going to go for two punches. We really feel the punches today. One, two, in that low squat position. We're gonna come back for a sprawl and up. One, two, sprawl and up, okay? That's our third exercise. And then at the end, we're gonna hold our low plank, high or low, it's up to you, during the rest, okay? We're gonna come up to our feet, start. All right, starting with our four high knees to squat jack or squat calf raise. In two, let's go. One, two, three, four, we come in, into that squat. In, down, and up. One, two, three, four, feet together to our squat. Might take you a couple reps here to get into the rhythm of this move. 10 seconds here. Then we're going to our reverse lunges with that lateral raise. Last one. And grab our weights. Alternating lunges, 90 degrees in those arms and the legs. From the side, it looks like this. Woo. Bring those weights to shoulder height. Good job. Maybe we can do it. Five pounders here to get a little burn. Last one. And switch. Two punches to that sprawl. One, two, sprawl. Woo. Stay low as you punch those weights out. Getting that heart rate up. Almost there. Last ten. Hold that plank. We're holding this plank for a full 30 seconds. Then we come back up to our high knees to squat. Halfway there. Squeeze those glutes. Core is engaged. Three, two, come back. One, two, three, four, to that squat. Drive the knees up. Whew. Sinking low into our squat here. Last ten. One more here. One, two, three, four. To that squat, grab your weight, lunge with that lateral raise. The weights come up as we step back into that reverse lunge. Halfway. Get those arms up. Two more here. Last one. And switch, two punches to that scroll. One, two, sprawl. Woo! Almost there. You're halfway. Stay low as you pop the plunge it up. Weights come off to the 
side, hold your plank. 30 seconds here, then we're going to this one more time. Squeeze those glutes. Halfway, we're going to do this one more time, two more minutes of work, I'm going to do a quick finisher and we're done. Okay, I want to keep this one quick. Three, two, come on back up, we're going to our high knees. To squat, one, two, three, four, squat. Whew. Good job, drive those knees up. One, two, three, four, squat. 10 seconds here, let's go. One, two, three, four, last one. And we grab our weights. Get those arms up. Woo. Can really feel this one in the shoulders. Weights come up as we step back into that lunge. Last three, two, and one. Let's switch. Two punches, sprawl. One, two, sprawl. Lightly bring those weights down to the mat, not like me. Ooh. 20 seconds. We hold that plank one more time. One, two, sprawl. Less than 10, let's go. Whew. Last one. Weights come off to the side. Let's hold that plank. Get the bum down, squeeze your glutes. Breathing through this, 20 seconds left. Almost there. 10 seconds here. Woo. Five, two, one, and rest. All right, grab some water here. We're going to do a quick two minute finisher and then we're done, okay? So for our finisher, we have two exercises that we're going to alternate 30 seconds of peace, okay? First moves that we're going to do, I call this a rollback burpee, or you can do a regular burpee. So we come up, down, into that high plank, back up, we hop at the top, then we come down, we roll onto our back, we roll up right into that burpee, okay? So our full speed looks like this, down, back, up, we roll back, and up. So if that doesn't work for you, it's not for everybody. Just do that regular burpee, down and back, or I just want you to stay nice and low, squat, tap, down and back, if you really don't want to hop, okay? So you're staying in that low squat position. That's exercise number one. Number two, we're gonna grab our weight, come down, chest fly with a leg raise. We come up, drop the heels, and up. You can always drop one at a time here if you'd like to keep that low back glued to the mat. Okay, if it starts to pop up when you do both legs, just stick to one place. Okay, we want to make sure that lower back is feeling secured uh, in that leg raise. Okay, we're starting with our roll back loopies. Two minutes here. All right, two rounds, 30 seconds a piece. In three, two, let's go. We hop up, down, up, we roll back. Use that core to bring yourself back up. Roll back and up. Woo. You got 10 seconds here. Roll back, use that momentum to propel yourself up. Last one. Back and up. Come on down. Grab our weights, form a T at the bottom here. Don't let those heels touch the ground. Again, we can always do one heel at a time. With that chest fly, the hands are coming close to the ground, they don't touch. 
10 seconds here. Last one. And weights come to the side. One minute left. Let's go. Back to that roll back for feet. Use that momentum. You can put your hands on the ground there if you need. Help bring yourself up. Woo. Up, down. Use that momentum. Propel yourself forward. Almost there. Last one. And grab those weights. Come on down. Slow it down here. Focus on working those abdominal muscles. Those weights come down as you drop that heel. Keeping that low back glued to the mat. We're almost there. 10 seconds left in this class. Breathing through this. Two more. Last one here. And rest. All right. Whew. I'm gonna do a quick little, little stretch here. We're gonna go right into a child's pose. You sink those hips back, extend those arms. Forehead comes down to the mat. Let yourself rest here. That was a pretty efficient 30 minute workout. Crammed a lot into that, so just give yourself a minute here. We'll walk those hands over to the right. Feel that stretch in the left side of your body. Come back through center and over to the right. That right hand can come on top of the left. Come back through center. I'm going to flip those palms when you're in that child's pose. You should feel a release here in the upper back through those lats. Flip those up to the table here. A few cat cows undulating that spine. The crown of the head reaches up. You hollow out, bringing that girdle up to spine, curling through the back, and switch. Crown of the head reaching up, sinking that belly down. Switch all the way out here. Let's come back to a neutral spine. From here, I'm going to bring that left foot up outside the left hand. Option to open up through that hip if you'd like, or just keep that where it is. The elbow can come down to ankle. We're going to open up and rotate here, sinking into that low lunge. Last one here. And hand comes back down. We'll trade out those legs, and left leg comes back. The right foot comes up outside the right knee. Option to open up through that knee, or just bring the elbow down. We open up and rotate. Last one. And slowly come back. From here, I'm just going to finish off. Don't want that stretch to be too long. Cross legged seat. Those hands come down. We reach over to one side, back to the other. Feeling the stretch in your side body here. Last one. We're gonna clasp those hands in behind your back, pulling through that chest ever so slightly. And release. Last one here. Pulse those arms out, opening up through that chest. Flip those hands, thumbs down. And release. Thank you so much for joining me. It was a 30 minute workout with just a light set of dumbbells. Hope you enjoyed.